Hi, my name is Devin Marble. I'm here with VR Patients. This is our 10th release of our platform. When we put AI implementation in, we focus on data security and student privacy at the forefront. This means a precise implementation. So when an action happens, you have control over changing the behavior of the AI so it can listen for empathy, express relief from treatment, and react with distress completely asynchronously. This means that the AI only has access to what you want to control for student physiology and nursing simulation. And it looks a little bit like this. An open dialogue, conversation, and discussion with a patient who speaks to you based on the story that you have given the patient. They can behave rude, they can behave happy, and they will change behaviors based on actions you do to them, treatments that you give them, or listening contextually to words or sentences that you've said. For example, if I'm rude to the patient, she might behave rudely back. Hi, I'm Joy Jacobs, Director of Business Development with VR Patients. And one of the unique features that we offer with VR Patients is mixed reality. In the virtual reality world, you're not trapped in VR. You actually have the hybridization of using any space as a simulation space. You do not need a blank room. And you can bring this into your real environment, have an insight to hybridization of clinical reasoning in the immersive world, as well as the motor muscle memory that you're developing by using your simulation equipment. Lo más importante para mí es poder comunicarme con el paciente en español en su idioma natural. The most important thing for me is to be able to communicate with the patient in their own language. And VR patients can do that with the help of the AI new technology that we have. Hey, I'm Tyler Matthews, sales for Eastern United States at VR Patients. And one of the things I'm most excited about for release 10 is our AI dialogue. This will allow us to do things that are traditionally very hard to do with standardized patients. So mental health scenarios, diverse patient populations, LGBTQ scenarios, end of life care, spiritual care, will all be able to be very realistic without you having to program every piece of the conversation. At VR Patients, we have always given our customers control. We have a human team, and now you have control over artificially intelligent, physiologically accurate patients that behave consistently.